Hello. I have recently been asked some questions about the type of cabling that I've been installing at home for some computer network points. So I've been installing two different types of cable. One of them is a shotgun Cat 5E cable. Um, that means that it's two Cat 5E cables stuck together. That means that you don't have to run as many runs of cable from your network switch to where you want your points, your network points on the wall. Um, it's a solid core cable, so it's designed for um, permanent installation and not somewhere where the cores are, where, where it's going to be flexed regularly like plugging it into the back of a computer. Um, inside you've got um, four lots of twisted pair. The reason they are twisted is to reduce the interference and through this type of cable you get around about a gigabit per second speed which is more than enough for anything you're likely to be doing at home um, for most people because you think well what's the speed of your internet connection and it'll be a tenth of that if 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 that It's very easy to install and it's just literally punched down onto terminals on the back of a, a network port. The other cable I've been installing is a CAT6A cable and this is um, foil shielded foil, foil twisted pair or foil shielded foil wrapped twisted pair. Um, it's a faster cable it's a much more expensive cable, it's a more rigid cable and it is more difficult to install but in inside you have got the outer sheath, you've then got a foil layer um, and then inside you have got your four lots of twisted pair um, all wrapped up separately. This really reduces the amount of interference that it's susceptible to. It's a much, much faster speed connection. Um, it's more fiddly to terminate. Um, but it will support 10 gigabit per second, which means if you are using network attached storage, um, you can use that at a similar sort of speed to if you had um, the hard disks that you were using installed locally in your machine. There are also um, adapters for running HDMI over CAT6A. Um, so there's the potential to, to use it for that sort of thing. For the CAT5E there have been a couple of recent technology uh, advances which means that you may be able to get two and a half gigabit per second through them but that means that every device or the devices at both ends have to support that standard and it's not all that common yet and you're also more susceptible to interference trying to run up to those sorts of speeds. Anyway, thank you for watching.